Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It is a Friday in December. I honestly have no idea what day it is, uh, because I don't know when. I don't know when I'm releasing this video. I think I'm actually going to shoot for this week rather than next week, like I usually do, because I wanted to go and reply to some of the comments that I've been getting in some of my basics videos before actually going into a basics video. So let's go ahead and do that now. First one that pops up is from Not Wilg. In my last basic video, we said that this is rather entertaining, but rather everything works if you are way stronger than basic. I asked him to clarify what he meant, and he kindly responded that there are a list of things that as one to two down are not trivial, so I assume are not basic. So for that, we can, let's go ahead and close this, I'm about to reopen this anyway. At 325, decision to not cover on top rather than from the, the decision to not cover on top rather than from the side. Let's go ahead and see what he means by that one. That is over here. Decision to not cover on top. Ooh, over in here. Well, that is just going back into the whole divide and conquer thing. You can connect onto there if you really wanted to. It doesn't actually matter um, in this particular game. If I had connected here and he tried to push and cut me, as you can see here, that doesn't go anywhere. So it's irrelevant. I just made the shape that I'm more comfortable with. Um, Nitpicking on this one it doesn't really change the outcome all that much, uh, I, I, I don't believe. I don't think even if he goes for the most aggressive cut in the history of ever, I mean, he's still just going to die, right? So that's, that, that's not really a basic versus stronger thing. You're going to get a good result either way because it's going to drop dead on you. That's all. I just connected over here because I'm eyeing this one, and I know he can't live on top of the board as is. That's, that's the only reason why I played there. That's all. Next comment, add 350, allowing the Hane at the head and foot. Let's go ahead and click that one too. Mine too. Ha, <laughs> we said the same thing at the same time. Allowing the Hane at the head and the foot. Okay, so that is right there. So he is referencing this one here. Um, I mean, if you'd like, you can play this one. It's not as severe. But I just don't see a reason not to, because if he plays here, it doesn't do anything. He can't cut me. So I'm not, I'm not sure how that's not basic. If he can't cut me, then there's no reason to fear the cut. So we're, we're fine here, right? This cut doesn't work. And at 1 and 2 down, you can definitely read the cut doesn't work. Right? So okay, let's continue. We played here. Now the cut works. So what's the first thing I do? I Atari. And then I defended solidly. So I'm not really sure how that's not basic either. Like, if you're worried about the cut, then that, that's an issue because that just requires counting to two liberties. And that's it, right? That, that is all. He could, you know, do whatever he wants to do. He could do something else. That's fine. And then we'll just completely trash this because he hasn't defended on the left-hand side. So, yeah, not really sure how that's not basic. Not really sure how that's not basic. If you were in a game and you see this position here, as dangerous to extend, then you need to really take a minute and think about why is it dangerous? What, what, what is it you're afraid of here? What can my opponent really do? I've got three liberties, the cut isn't sente. any cut he plays just gets killed. So what, what are we freaking out about? I mean, you could. You could back off here or even here if you want. Uh, truth be told, that might be a better way to even kill the top if you just connect solidly. But, you know, I, I just don't see a reason to leave uh, Aji like that behind. So, you know, I didn't. I didn't see a reason to drop back. My position was fine. So yeah, played it. And 5-5, five, five, oh my god, he has a lot. You can cut here because you win the capture with. I was surely done the same, but to be certain, to have to calculate. Therefore, I... Five, 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 I win the capture race. I'm not even sure what there is to calculate because he just can't make two eyes. So, what are you calculating? Liberties? It sounds like you're just paranoid. And that's something that, that's something that's definitely not, ba that's definitely uh, something that's against basics, just being like randomly paranoid for no reason. Like, if I have more than six liberties here, and I've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like how many stones is that? Like we're fine. He can't make he can't make two eyes, and I've got more liberties than anything. 
So it seems that you're you're just really, really paranoid. And you're assuming things are going to happen where they absolutely can't. Like, maybe I get a capture race. Maybe I get into a capture race with, um... With, with this group here. Okay, but it has, like... One, two, three, four, five, six liberties. And you've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I mean, I think you're gonna be okay here, right? You're good. You're good. There's, there's no there's nothing to think about here. In fact, I'll even do one better. At worst it's Suseki because you have an eye. At worst it's Suseki. So, could he Seki this in Sente and then go back and make both sides that you're cutting live? I mean, come on. That's, that's, that would take magic. That would take magic. Now, the one place where I will give you some credit for is maybe this one here isn't basic. Maybe this one here isn't basic. Maybe. Maybe. But even if you can't see that you can capture this... I think the one thing I left out of the game, I think the one thing I really left out here is you still have at the very least a cup. At the very least, you got a cup, right? Like, there are a lot of ways to handle this. The important first step, especially at a Dom level, is to realize that two stones, or sorry, that a stone going to the fifth line does not mean you have everything below it. Like, this is open. It's undercut. It's on the fourth and fifth line. And as we know from basics, third line is territory, fourth line is influence, and fifth line is wishful thinking. So he essentially has two stones here that's wishful thinking that this is all territory. So we should be able to do something there. And we introduce that concept at a much lower level, at the DDK level. Now, we don't expect them to be able to always, you know, read that out and be able to understand that like the back of their hand. But by Dom level, you should know what is territory and what isn't. And I, I think that's a good example of here. We took a look at this and that's just not points. Of course, that's just not points. We'd be making shapes like this all friggin' day if this was points. Maybe get away with not knowing that at Q level, but at Dom level, you definitely need to be knowing. I had another comment here uh, from my 3Q hugs video uh, saying, can you go over ways to punish the lower left Jaseki with Black's 2 space? Uh, that's referring to this video and Black's 2 space here. So we can go and take a peek at that. I've already got that prepped and ready. So I used to think about this as uh, the exact same thing, how to punish and blah, 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 blah. In fact, when I sat down with um, Haley, I want to say, I asked her about the exact same thing. And the thing is, at the end of the day, you can play this professionally. Looking at this as a bad thing is kind of... It, it's a thing you can do. Um, if you want to take advantage of it, you can always do things like this. And get some more influence here. That's a really cheap way of just, you know, pushing on the second line and getting some stuff done. You can play things in here because... There could be Aji in them hills. Let's see, maybe this one's a lot easier. Yeah, this one's a lot easier, huh? Maybe they have to back off and give you this kind of thing. So you got that, but aside from that, you're not really going to be taking advantage in the sense that their position's going to collapse if you find the right move or something. Don't think about it that way. It's just that there's a little bit more Aji if you play here. It's a little bit more Aji now that if you play here than just the other one. And uh, yeah, so you can... Take that accordingly and add it to your game. Had another comment here from Florian. Why not play the monkey jump at P1? And that's in reference to this game. Not playing monkey jump over here. Problem when you play a monkey jump off a two stone like this with a cutting point. When you connect back, you're often connecting at this point, losing your liberties and thus playing, getting uh, the Atari played against you. It's just not particularly advisable. You get liberty shortages, and it's just mm, not good, not good. So if you're in the habit of playing, uh, maybe it's a DDK yourself, you're often playing monkey jumps off two stones when there's a clear cutting point. 
you might want to be careful because you could lose the liberties here, connect back into an Atari and die. So that's why you don't do that one. Okay, this video actually has some, some cute comments I want to highlight too. From the Chemist 87 who are these mysterious people who criticize you for killing? I actually got that at the start of the series. At the start of the series when I was just being like, well, that's dead, bang! Then I got people commenting how it was just reading that won the basics game and so on and so forth. So I pulled back some more from uh, doing the killing and I know if I started reintroducing a lot of killing into basics, then I'll get more of the same. Like even now, as you saw from the start of this against uh, the one Don, I was getting criticized because I was leaving a couple of cutting points behind even though they didn't work. So imagine if I was actively killing people in these games, people would be complaining a lot more. So uh, if, that, if, if at all possible, I usually just try to go hands off on the whole killing thing, unless it's just really that obvious. They're already surrounded. They can't go anywhere. They don't have eyes and they're still like just playing away. Then yeah, we remove it. And then from good old Smokey, this is actually in line with uh, kind of what I expected. So I've got to tell you something hilarious watching your videos since over a year now on schedule without missing a murder. And a basic video. Since then, I've risen up to the various ranks and just realized I'm not learning murder from your murder series. I'm learning murder from you not trying to murder in the basics because I'm always like, how could you murder that group now? Yeah, basics is kind of like that. It You have like a nice little kind of sandboxy way where I can point out, oh, hey, that's supposed to be dead. And you can wonder, ooh, how am I supposed to kill that? Because they're like little life and death problems. Uh, sometimes I show that at the end of the video. Uh, as your foundation gets stronger as a go player you also recognize uh the bad shapes a lot more so yeah that that's actually fully fully expected that's actually fully expected so cool glad you're glad you're rising up in the ranks another question from not Wilg says when you large knight from a two space jump at 1439 are you already preparing for sacrifice it's a glorious move because it's continuation where all plays out uh yeah so no at this position, I'm absolutely not already planning to sacrifice. The only thought process here is I have a left area that's growing. I've got an area here that's in trouble. I Am I going to sacrifice this? Uh, I've, at the time of the movement, I probably haven't even considered it. All I'm considering right now, to be completely honest, is this. There is, at the moment, this humongo area that we are threatening to get for ourselves. And if we can get it for ourselves, that is really, really nice. And whatever we have to do to get this area for ourselves is probably going to be worth it. Like, if I have to sacrifice this group somehow, there's more territory in here. If I have to sacrifice this group somehow, then sure. There's nothing on the board larger than this all falling to black. Because that is an insanely huge area. And then from there you just play accordingly. You protect the large area, you give up what's smaller if necessary. That's all. So no, wasn't planning on sacrificing. I was just identifying, hey look, big area, he's weak, let's go for it. The rest tends to itself. Alright, so since this week's releases are going to be all over the place, and definitely double released, since I have already planned um, some Tudon basics videos to release this week, and I'm doing this one on top of that just to get the answers out, as I had already promised the other guy in the comments, let's just switch over to Basic Man. Basic Man is actually 6 done, as you can clearly see here, but he's our basic account that once upon a time, for those of you who are unaware, for those of you who are unaware, he started off as a little 4Q and he's worked his little heart on up. Now for a brief moment in time, for a brief moment in time, uh, we went into a massive losing streak playing basics at 5 Don. So we abandoned that and then kind of just ranked up and did whatever on the account whenever. But, uh, somewhere along in here, we've gone back into playing just basics on Basic Man, and he is now 6 on again, playing from basics. Essentially an entirely new rank up at, at 5 down was played basics, and we got to 6 on. 
So let's just try to do some six time basic games and see where we go. Maybe we're gonna, this is not gonna work well at all. Maybe it will, who knows? Start to play. All right, got another game with uh, Mr. 10 and 10. No problems, gonna do three, four facing then approach. Or back off and then question what's going on on this board. That's fine too. I get free corner, sweet, I like it. Mm-hmm. Free corner for me. Ooh, passive. Passive move. Take more of a territorial approach this game. He has an uh, extension, so we will grab an enclosure. This move is bad. There's no reason to extend here. None whatsoever. Go ahead and poke, because that's kind of... Just like nowadays. So we'll do that into this one. It's just to kind of keep white from being able to press you low easily. Invasion points on this board are as follows. We got one over... Hello? Be more confident. Thank you. There you go. We got one over here. Got one over here. No, no, got a 3-3 against me, but that's about it right now. Mm. I will take the fourth line territory. It's offered. I'll accept it. Thank you kindly, good sir. See, this is where things get weird. This is where things get weird. Like, what is this? He just wants to do some kind of weird, random attack thing right now. I'll go into your corner, I guess. These guys are strange, man. These guys are strange. Uh, that doesn't work because I can play here. Damages the stone. He drops down. I still live in his corner. So this this is this is this is the part of me run into at uh at six don, you know? Like they're playing moves, you understand what they're trying to do, they're too greedy about it, it doesn't work. But how do you handle that in a basics way? Like I can't just drop what I'm doing and live here, or just randomly let them cut through me and then double hang it head of two stones. Like that's what we're gonna do, apparently. Fine. In review, I'll show what uh, you should, you're supposed to do here, because it ain't this. It ain't this. He yeah, honestly, I'm cutting him. Extend up. Don't let him get a huge thing here. Make sure we're alive here. This is a really weird position to be in. Okay. So, huge corner. We're alive. Poggers. I'm going to Hana here to make sure I'm in the middle, undisputably. We took a loss here, though. There's no denying that. We took a loss here. Like, that right there is small. But I'm running out of territory. So if I, keep start, if I start giving him, like, a lot of points, it's a problem, you know? It's a problem. I'll answer. We're, we essentially we're giving handicap to a six on right now. By taking this position as we did, we're giving handicap to a six on. That's uh, <laughs> that's that's a problem. <laughs> Look at that group over there. Foof, foof. Take territory. Take some more territory. I'll probably go to my 3-3 now or something. Mm. Okay, yeah, he has two weak points still. Take the other one. He's got a base. Not supposed to give him this either. When he went into here, I should have pincered him. But again, I'm trying to play nice and simple and basic. Ugh, hard to do, man. Hard to do against six dons. Like, you, you kind of... Gotta fight them because they're overextending constantly, you know? Okay. This is fine. I need to jump out. That's fantastic. Now he's a clamp. Um, So he's got the clamp right now. So I have to play here. 
Can't let him clamp against me. Can't do it. Just can't do it. Okay. Now we're going to come out. It's a weird shape. But on the bright side, this territory might vanish, which means this is his profit and that's his profit. We're still in this. We're still in this. Yeah, I'm going to go with no on that one. We're going to look after our group, thanks. Okay. Now, I want to... Okay, ordinarily, I would clamp here. Why, you might say. If you, why, why clamp here? It doesn't work. You clamp, he drops down, dum dum. But then you poke here. Now the cut works as he Atari's you into your own stone. Or he Atari's you into your own stone. So that is amazing. It also is way not basics. <laughs> gonna come out instead. Just gonna come out instead. Okay. Still going after. Still jump, making making sure our group's fine. Make sure our group's fine. Uh, I'm care. I'm afraid about the cut. Afraid about the cut. If I play here, he plays here. What do I do? I net. He drops down. What do I do then? I back off. I guess we got to, huh? Guess we got to, huh? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? There is a co in the air. What's this? What's this? The correct answer is the co. Because this is just some random endgame move to make sure I can't Hane and force him back and make this into no territory. This is just some weird random endgame thing. I'm going to go to cow. Shoulder hit. Easy shoulder hit. Easy shoulder hit. That's a mistake to ignore. That's a mistake to ignore. This can't connect up to this anymore. Might be saying, but what about your other group? Who cares about it? Hane? By Hane, he cuts me. I Hane back, he plays there. Mm. I'll play here, it's fine. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. That, see, that's that that whole sequence there. He was afraid a position that doesn't work would magically work later on. Because anytime I Atari here, he connects, which starts to kill my corner. Right? So I could never play the thing that he just defended against. He just defended against a thing... Against a thing working that could not have ever worked. Does that make sense? Like that, that's weird. That's weird. Just do some defense here. Get profit over here, pretty good. This right's pretty big for him though. He can like Atari and kill these two stones too. Cause he plays here, I can connect. Boom. Headshot, right? Yo, yo, me now, now we're so not gonna make weird shapes here. I'm just gonna go out this way, thank you. I'm not running with a small knight for him to cut. That's what he wants me to do. Because that's what he's doing. He's running with a small knight, no small knight, no small knight. He is trying to kill things. Despite the fact that he can't kill things. And despite the fact that I've completely surrounded him. If I cut here, he's dead. That's how that works. That's how that works. 
I know we don't. You can see where my mouse is hovering. You can see where my mouse is hovering. Nine. It's like we don't kill in basics. Seven, we don't kill in basics. Six, five. Four, three. I'm sorry. Did you hear something? One. I'm. So did you hear something? I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything. <sighs> sorry, we don't do what in basics. Starts. We don't kill in basics. Who said? I don't know. Ask that guy bleeding on the floor. That's that guy bleeding on the floor. We don't kill in basics! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I read all about that, thank you. I should have played here first. Nine. Eight. Seven. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Go ahead and poke a shape points. <clears throat> Cause I can cut, um, we can just cut all the things. Nine. Can't really play here right now, though. See, that's a problem that you just played. That right there is a problem. Tell you what, I'll live and you live. We'll both live. How's that sound? We can both live here. Okay. There's no reason to fight. Let's give me the stone. Let me live. I live, you live, we all live. I'm a peaceful person. I don't wanna I don't wanna kill. Yeah, see? See how easy that is? See how easy that is. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I live, you live, we all live together. Now unfortunately you need territory. Something you haven't really been after this game. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't blame you. Let's go and poke. Let's go and poke. Um, maybe cut here. Actually, I need. I really need like a defensive move here. All right. So can he kill me? I got that one. That one. Can he kill me? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Not really, huh? I'll go and play her. I'll go and play her. I gotta cut it off. Right? I mean, we just gotta do that. Gotta do it, right? Gotta do it. Dang it, there's this. He's not gonna defend it, is he? Ah, uh, it looks like I'm trying to kill him again, but I'm not trying to. Okay, tell you what. Like I said, I'm not trying to kill you. I ain't trying to kill you. So there you go. We're both alive. We're both alive. I'm alive, you're alive, we're all alive. Your territory is the right hand side. That's cool. I got this. Some territory over here. Here, here. Um, what's that? What's that? I don't know. Let's go into Tarium, I guess. There. Connected, right? Seems fine. Seems fine. Is he going to play, like, the endgame stuff over here? <laughs> he is going to play the endgame stuff over here. This is the largest thing on the board right now. Not not this. But the fact that this group is not connected to this group right now, and I can lean on this one to surround here, when this one has, like, one eye, that's the largest thing on the board right now. This is the largest thing on the board right now. This is just garbage. This is just garbage. Yeah, so... I mean, whatever to his garbage. Let's, uh... Go and put pressure on that. Like, I don't know why we're playing over here. We went to two stones. Okay, go to two stones. It's too small, man. Too small. Too small. Too small. Too small. Hane. Huh, 
Tari. Like, I'm not trying to kill him. Despite whatever you're seeing here. I'm not trying to kill him. The fact that he might die is a coincidence. Don't. Don't let him dictate what's going on here. Don't you dare let him dictate what's going on here. But you can see the problem, right? He's like over here playing endgame. His group ain't connected to anything. I mean, it's quasi-basics, I guess? Is that a word? It's kind of a word. It's basic-ish. He wants to play here. I can go here and here and get me. He's got a gotcha moment. Sorry, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. This is an Iron Gote. This is an Iron Gote. We're killing him. We're killing him. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're killing him. So that's what we're doing. We're killing him. I didn't want to, but it's happening apparently. Ugh. This game's going long. I might cut the first game out. I might be cutting the first game. First game, um, just for rec just for reference, I did lose my first one. I got into a co. It was uh pretty bad. I couldn't figure out like how in the heck do we basic this crap? And yeah, he got me. I just could not figure it out. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Here, I think we got him though. Here, 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 here. One, two, three. I have more than three liberties on this side. So this is dead. That's a debtor. Ah! I didn't want to kill. I didn't want to kill. If I play here, he plays here, I play here. Seems fine. If he plays here, I play here. If he plays here, I play here. If he cuts, I play here. We have more than four liberties, so it's fine, right? Yeah. It's fine. No problem. Do we double target first? I don't know. No, we don't. Let's play here. There we go. Now, do I get an eye? I play here, He, I play there. If I play here... Does it matter? If I play here, he Atari's me and then I connect. If I play here, he plays this... Maybe not? Play here first? He'll play this one now, right? Alright, so we'll throw in an Atari. And then he's dead. Come here. Okay. Is there something weird here that I'm not, I don't know about? <clears throat> Better endgame? Yeah, better endgame, right? If I play here, he can do this one still. And I have to answer there. If he does here, it's the same thing. Nine, eight, seven, it's a, it's a, literally the six, same thing. Five, four, three, two, literally the same one. thing. Never mind. If he plays here, we're going to throw in. Remember, these are an Atari. That doesn't work. Now we take that it's another Atari. So we're good. We're good. We're ignoring that. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. Extend. 
because that's that was larger. That and forcing me to go in, I think, is is bigger. Okay, sure. That's enough room for life. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. And he resigned. Sweet. So that's an interesting basics game. Uh, it was predominantly basics, right? I think it was. I'm going to try to remember to make all of these basics games available in my uh, review pack at the end of the month. November's, I'm not even sure if I'm releasing in November because I wasn't saving. Sorry, I was just way distracted with too much going on. I just like, I just spaced out completely. Let's review the game real quick. Let's review the game real quick. So yeah, here, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah, he did that, which is weird because there's like a thing here and a thing there, but it's okay. I mean, I think it should probably be here to at least have a bit more semblance of something going on, but yeah, sure, whatever, you play love. Very, very passive move. There's no reason to play it and not approach. It kind of says that you're maybe a little bit frightened of your opponents. I don't really know. Simple Jiseki is simple. He's had to do something there. Uh, like, I should play this one. To probably go back and play here. At which case, we can just play this one. Or even this one is fine. Honestly, maybe even this one. Like, a lot of things we could do here. Try to keep it nice and simple. Try to keep it nice and simple. We took we took a loss in that bottom left in the corner. No doubt, we took a loss bottom left in the corner. Getting Sente. Invites you to play. Getting Sente to remove the territory that we just gave him though was com is completely the most important thing that we could do right now. And even now, I'm like it says B eight point five, but don't listen to it. This could easily be more than eight point five. Why? Why is he eight point five? Here, check it. Here, here into like, I don't know, here. Now I gotta reduce, white by 10 points. Like, it's so easy to use that influence. It's so easy to use the influence. Grab some points. This was just, this was just greedy. This was just greedy, man. Just play here into here, brah. Still 8.5, so whew. it's close. This was the greediest. Like, connecting underneath now is pretty strong. Instead, he's like, maybe he won't disconnect me. Now it's like, mm, you're wrong, I will. Co here was fantastic. I mean... I got the Prophet. He's trying to attack. But there's nowhere really to go, you know? That, I agree, was bad. I should have... I should have played here. But I I don't know. I kind of wanted to kill him, and I kind of didn't want to kill him. So I was on the... I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't make up my mind. Either way, we both lived, which is fantastic. Both lived again. Both lived again. And then the last bit here. Because like, I think he's ahead now, right? No, I'm still up by 11 points. Jesus. I thought he was ahead by this point. That's why he was going for like the small move, just to make sure I can't profit anymore. But yeah, he needs to be doing things in the center, and he just never did things in the center. So eventually, it's just divide and conquer. Most basic thing ever. That was a that was a good trick. That was a good trick. If I do this one, now who's ahead? Oof. White by 0.5. And he's got this Atari, like we lose this game. Like now we lose the game. So that was a good that was a good try. Now the problem with why he couldn't live, because he might be like, he's got this move. Why why won't we just play this move and live? Why won't we just play this forehead? And that's the reason here. That's the reason here. He can't really get thing here, and he can't get this Ion Sentai. Actually, no, he could get that Ion Sentai, couldn't he? He just can't get this one Sentai. Yeah. That one's the one that's not coming through. That one's the one that's just ain't coming through. So we're good here, and then we just made sure that we're fine, and then, yeah. At this point, we win by 
50 point. 50 point. Not a bad start to our basics account at six dawn. <sighs> I'm not going to be doing this every week, clearly. Though if you are interested in more six dawn basics games to see when this all falls apart for me and I crumble horribly, do let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, take care, everyone.